Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Herculean Hearts. I'm Sarah, homeschool mama of six, and today's video is all about Book Shark Science Level 2. So we are going to quickly go through what all comes what all comes in the level two set and how we use that for everybody too. So we use one science for everybody and I will show you how we do that in this video. So let's check it out. This is the big binder that you get with your complete set, your level set. So I put all of my instructor's guides in this binder. So you can see we have our history and we have different language arts. And then I have science just in the back. So this is the cover. And then this book has all these tabs that show the different weeks. And so I took the time to week by week. So this is all of our stuff for week one. So that's our reading with history um, for all of us. And then I have everybody's individual language arts in here as well. And then I have science for everybody. So I put everything in this one big binder. We'll give you the book list for science back here in section three. So here's our cute little book list there. And then it kind of goes through how to use the instructor's guides. Uh, this is all the supplies that you need for all of your science experiments. So if you like to see it all mapped out and which weeks you're gonna be using the things, uh, that is helpful for preparing for your activities and then here is your subject list so what you're going to be focusing on each week just for science in section four it shows you how to use your instructor's guides it's really really self-explanatory but it does walk you through how to use that walks you through how to set up your binder all of that is all included in your instructor's guide so again this is what I lovingly refer to as the beast that holds all of our subjects for all of the different weeks inside. But I don't whip this bad boy out every single day. That would be kind of crazy. So this stays on my bookshelf um, with the weeks that we're not doing. And then I take out and put in here our schedule for six weeks at a time. So I have six weeks in there. That's our working binder. So right now we are here in week 26. And so let me flip back to the science section because again, I keep all of our subject instructor's guides in there. So this is what your science would look like. It tells you exactly which books you're going to be using. It tells you uh, which DVD um, you're gonna be using, if you're using one, what tracks. And then it tells you the different optional activities if there are any. It tells you the supplies that you need for your experiments for that week. And it also tells you the supplies you're gonna need for next week. That way, I think one of the weeks had like jello. And so that way I was able to look ahead and that gave me time to add jello to my regular grocery list. And so I like that it does provide what you need for next week as well in case there are some supplies that maybe you don't just have lying around your house. Uh, that way you could go ahead and prepare for that. Then it tells you in written instruction exactly what you're going to be doing each day. So there's that. And then it continues on in the back for your four day a week schedule. So it's going to show you these activity sheet questions and which ones to do. The activity sheets are included in your instructor's guides uh, unless you have more than one kid where you want them to have their own activity sheets then you can purchase just the activity sheet package separately uh, but it's already included so if you get the instructor's guide you don't have to buy the act one set of the activity sheets uh, is already included so you should be good and those would be right back here and then we have our answer sheet. That way you can check the activity sheets, make sure it's done correctly, and they are all in color. So you may have noticed that I didn't have any of the activity sheets with the instructor's guide. That's because I took them out and made this little book 
um, for some of my kids to share. We didn't get separate activity sheets. You definitely can, that's up to you. Uh, my kids just do it together. So I just used our laminator and created this front page and back cover and then took all 36 weeks out and bound them in our binding machine. So you can see what some of these activity sheets are like. I love that they are all in color and there's all different kinds of questions of what it goes over. And again, all the answers are in the instructor's guide. So that way you can just give it to your kids and have them work on it depending on their age. My kids are old enough that they could read it together uh, and decide on the answers together and write it in. If your kids are younger than that, being able to do that, you can easily just dictate and have them respond to you. So that is what I did with the activity sheets. Again, Bookshark doesn't do that. They don't say to do that. It's all hole punched because they assume you're going to put it in your binder and just take one out for each week. But I like having it all together. It's great for my record keeping. It's great if you have to have evidence of learning for different subjects uh, to be able to just show, look at all they are learning and what they're doing and having it all in one spot. So that's why I did that. Let me just briefly show you the different books that come with the level two science. This I would say is the main book that's used, the Usborne a book of knowledge and I just love Usborne books they're so well done um, they have beautiful beautiful pictures it has numbers so you can know how to follow uh, to understand what you're reading and just short little pieces of information and they explain it in a way that the kids can understand so typically you would just read two pages for a Bookshark lesson. So it might be these two pages, and then you answer typically one to three questions on your activity sheet based off of that topic for the day. So um, that's kind of what you can expect per lesson. So that is, again, we do a lot of the science comes right from this book, but this is not the only book. We also have What's Physics All About? Uh, so this is another talking about physics. We also have Marie Curie's Search for Radium. So these, the instructor's guide, tells you exactly what pages to read. These are all read-alouds. Uh, we read them out loud together. So here's another one, the Magic School Bus, Inside the Earth. As you can see, set up just like a lot of Magic School Bus books. See that? And a book about weather. So these are real pictures, not just drawings. So I think they're just beautiful. This book's really well done. It has some really interesting information in there that my kids found fascinating learning about that. So these are the main books that you're going to get. In addition to that, another book you're going to get is this Usborne Book of Science Activities. So your different experiments that you're going to do are going to come from here. So this experiment is all about using batteries to do light with light bulbs. And so we were able to just open the book and then follow the directions to do our experiment. So it goes through a bunch of different experiments and then how the Bookshark schedule is set up. In addition to this book, you also have this Inquisikids Science DVD. And it will tell you in the instructor's manual which tracks you're going to watch. And this DVD is basically watching somebody do the experiment. So there have been times where we haven't watched the DVD and we've just done the experiment. There have been times where we didn't do the experiment, we just watched the DVD. Just depended on how excited we were for science experiments that week and what we had around. The last thing that I love that Bookshark does for us is puts together these science kits and we've used ours quite a bit, so it's kind of messy. Yours will come much nicer looking than this. Um, it has everything that you need to do any of the science experiments. 
in there. Uh, so it has like the little light bulbs and stuff for when you do the light bulb experiment and the wires and the batteries. Um, so it just has everything in there and it tells you in the instructor's guide what you need to take out of here. And then if there's something that's not in here, like if you need a cup of water or uh, I mentioned Jello, we needed a pack of Jello for something and kiwi. Obviously they're not gonna send fresh fruit in your box. So those are things that it will tell you at least the week before that you'll need to pick up and uh, to do these science experiments. But everything else is already packaged for you in the box that you don't have to go try to find it. And then I just keep it shut and stick it on top of our bookshelf. And then that way nobody can get into it. And I already have it put together and ready for our science experiment. There's typically in a bookshark schedule, there's typically just one, sometimes two, science experiments in a week. That was just a brief rundown as well as peek inside of what a Bookshark Level 2 science kit includes. I hope y'all found this helpful. I'll be making other videos that once they're done, I will link those below with some of the other levels if you're interested in that. If you have any questions about the level two science, our family has used it. So go ahead and shoot me a question down in the comments and I'm happy to answer as best that I can about the Bookshark Science level two. So my kids are two to 11 and I've been able to use this science level two for all six of them. So that is just such an amazing, amazing thing as a busy mom to be able to have a subject that we can all do together. And they all learned something at their different levels and they all really have been enjoying uh, doing that together. So that is just another pro that we have found with the Bookshark Science. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button down below to subscribe to this channel so you can see all of the other subjects that Bookshark has. We'll be peeking into those as well as all of the other fun things that we have in store. So until next time.